Some features found on the Sentinel CHHC4 remote sensor are a photo cell to allow your unit to differentiate between day and nighttime. Having the photo cell on the remote sensor allows the main unit to be placed outside of the growing environment. A sensor active LED lets you know you're receiving power and the daytime LED lets you know that this unit is receiving enough light on the photo cell to tell it it's daytime. Um, that way if you have the unit hung somewhere in shading or shadowing, you can make sure that the unit is actually still able to tell the difference between day and night. The metallic shielding is actually not on there for aesthetic reasons. It's part of the grounding of the unit. So the metallic coating here actually will absorb electromagnetic noise and interference from ballast and other uh, electronic noisy type items. And then it grounds it out to uh, eliminate interference with the unit and allow for more accurate readings. Uh, that being said, you still want to make sure to mount your remote probe, all the wires, and your CHHC unit uh, about eight feet away from digital ballast or banks of ballast just to eliminate any possibilities of uh, interference or problematics. One of the most asked about features on the CHHC4 is the interlock buttons. The first interlock button is the humidity and temperature. The humidity and temperature interlock functions by allowing your cooling and humidity devices to work independently or coordinated with one another. A customer using exhaust fans to cool and dehumidify his room would set the interlock humidity button on to connect. That would mean that either a cooling or humidity going out of value would activate the cooling device or your exhaust fan. Customers using air conditioners and dehumidifiers in a sealed environment would operate the unit on the split condition. In split, cooling and humidity work independently of one another. The second interlock feature is the CO2 temperature interlock. CO2 temperature allows the CO2 and temperature to run independently of one another or coordinated. A customer with a sealed room and an air conditioner would want to run the unit in a split condition. A split condition allows your cooling device to run and your CO2 to rise to run when necessary. Moving the CO2 temperature interlock to connect disc allows your CO2 to run during a cooling cycle. So you're not adding heat to the room or blowing CO2 that you've paid for out with your exhaust fan. A third feature commonly asked about is the fuzzy logic mode. Fuzzy logic is to be used with CO2 regulators and compressed CO2 bottles. This allows for very tight controls of your grow room environment. Thank you for visiting us at the Sentinel Technical Channel. Feel free to contact us at growgps.com.